Hello and welcome back everybody. I'm armed with a paintbrush today and a little glass tube. I'm going to be collecting pollen from these delphiniums behind me because I want to cross pollinate with a delphinium right across the way here that has a nice little um, almost like a cone shape to the flower spike. One thing to note before we get started is if you're looking to do this, find the parent plant and the two that you want to crossbreed and know that the main spike itself will give you the most uh, seeds and the laterals which bloom after your main spike has uh, fully bloomed will give you the least amount of flowers. All right, let's get started everyone. All right, everyone, I'm gonna show you how to collect the pollen. This right here, these are stigmas. See them, they're big and green right now. They've have, they already have been pollinated, so you do not wanna put your pollen on there. You'll just be wasting it. But what I'm gonna do is, let's see here. Let's see if I can get this down further enough while I reckon it. So if you look in here, those anthers have already exploded. You can see a little bit of pollen in there. Typically they're brown or maybe a little bit, of, little bit white. They look like little bags. I'll show you on the plant that I am working on. But typically what I do, if there's, if there's anthers there or maybe a little stigma, I'll work, work around the anthers. Now, there we go. Work it way in the back there. Get as much pollen as possible. I have a little bit there. Let's see if I can see it. I'm trying to show you on my finger here. But you can see, start to see the little white specks on my finger. That, that's all pollen right there. Let's try this one. Let's see if I can get more out of it. Try a little bit more. I've worked this plant a little bit for pollen, but not too much. Hopefully I can still get a little bit more out of it. Trying to get something to show you here to know what you're looking for. I had the glass tube too to show you. Your dog's barking in the background. That's not too bad. Let me see if I can show you on the camera here. Right there. See those little white specks? It just looks like dandruff. That is the pollen you're looking for. I typically use my finger if I'm testing the flower to see if there's actually pollen there, to see if the anthers themselves ex exploded enough and release that pollen. But what I do is I just take the brush and the tube and I just brush it right on in. Now typically what I do though with the tube is, I don't think there's no pollen on this, but I'll hold the tube just like this, peel everything back, and I would literally just brush it into the tube working all the way all the way into the back because when the pollen explodes it goes it goes everywhere so I want to get as much as possible and if you actually look in that tube see all the pollen and when you're ready just run your brush in there and you'll put, put it on the emerging anther and then we'll see if I can show you a emerging anther and we actually do have some right here let me see if I can get a nice close-up for you guys so it almost looks like a V right there. See that little purple right there? It's straight right now, but what will happen is that that anther right there, it, it'll turn into a V and start pointing up. That's how you know it's ready to receive the pollen. But on the plant you're preparing, you're actually gonna take the anthers off so that stigma doesn't pollinate. And I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, everyone, we're going, we're at the delphinium that I'm looking to pollinate. So I need to prepare it so the stigma itself does not get pollinated. If you look, let me see if I can get a good view. There's little, there we go. There's little stigmas in there, or not stigmas, sorry, anthers. That's what carries the pollen. All you have to do is grab it and take them off. Oh, sorry. And these are the anthers that hold the pollen. You gotta stay on top of it if you're looking to pollinate. 
a delphinium so the anther itself doesn't get pollen uh, anther stigma itself doesn't get pollinated so take the anthers off it's something to really keep track of again from this one these are a little bit easier to see for me you can literally just twist them off with your finger look at them all Make sure I get them all right here now the stigma itself hasn't emerged yet you'll see when it's emerged and when it's ready they tend to have a like a purplish tip on them when they when they're ready to collect all that pollen and this one is prepared so when the stigma shows itself I'll be ready and with these little florets here, I'll just use this one. I don't have that, all that much pollen. But that is it. And your delphinium is prepared. So you're going to want to collect the pollen from whatever delphinium look you're looking to use. You're going to prepare your delphinium that's going to be receiving the pollen before the stigma has showed itself. Because if it has, you run the chance of it already being pollinated. And that is all, everyone. But I do want to show you something real quick. A little bit of bonus footage here. So you see this delphinium. It's about six feet tall. Then we got this little one right here. This was about six feet tall last year. This is common among plants, okay? So if one year your delphinium is five, six feet tall, and then next year it's just like this. That's perfectly perfectly normal. It'll come back to normal maybe the next year. Well, everyone, that concludes this little tutorial. I hope you learned a lot on how to take pollen from and to get your delphinium ready for cross-pollination. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment down below. I do look forward to answering any of your questions. I really do enjoy it. So until next time, bye-bye.